Hi, Sagittarius. <laughs> so, if you know the Beatles, it's the song, Something in the Way You Move. It's my, probably my favorite Be Beatles song ever. It's on the Abbey Road album. And that is what is coming to me right now as I start your reading. So it's already super like flirty, but it's also, <laughs> I feel for those of you who have been doing what you need to do and really learning because not every Sag is in this place and I know that, but those of you who are, you, there's this incredible, incredible thing happening and the cards will show us, but it's this almost rock star vibe and that song. Hmm. Okay. Ace of Wands, Three of Swords. So creating from a broken heart is always what some say the most beautiful thing that can happen. And I'm not saying your heart's broken, but I do feel like at this moment in your life, you're, it's just like that song. There's something in the way she moves. I don't wanna leave her now. And as much as it can break your heart to move on from something that had once brought you so much, it's going to create and it's always there's always magic that's created from that place it's always one of the most powerful places because it's your heart the heart has just an endless amount of supply of love and i don't just mean like that <laughs> i mean It's endless. And for those of you who are aware of like visualization processes or manifestation processes, everything has to move through the heart. Everything has to eventually move through the feeling. And for Sagittarius, there's a combination that happens that makes it so when you are in this place and you're moving like just so, it's so, un so real that it's unreal because you're so comfortable in yourself and Jupiter being your ruling planet, there's something so magical about it, especially when you're in that sweet spot. And now you have the opportunity to really heal any of the mentalities, any of the thoughts that had once broke your heart. And we're all kind of looking at that now because of all the Aquarius, but for you, it's this whole new world. It's what you've already been doing, but it's now you're creating that world. You're owning it. You're becoming it. And it's authentic. So if there is a Capricorn or areas in your life, mostly on the feminine side, it's possible that they're also, they're showing you something about this process because we all have our things, but it's in an Aquarius and Capricorn's nature to be confident in whatever they're doing, even if it's like, you know, whatever. And you're the devil and the emperor next to each other tell me that it's very it's a very physical process that's happening it's even though you're it's the substance of the mind there's this rolling out of what 
is possible physically and how you're learning to roll with those changes and learning to be a part of the changes and learning to um, also know, understand that just because your hands aren't touching and you're not creating what the what's happening in your world around you with your hands, it's your complete rechange that's that you've gone through, rewiring and everything that's leading you down this road. Everyone's going to be going through change. So the way I talk to all of the signs always have to do with some type of change and it's slow. So sometimes it might seem repetitive. For you, it's going to move a little bit faster and a little bit different because of the eclipses being in your being on your access now axis now. Because you're going to be also learning while you while we actually get to envision what goes through your mind. It's kind of cool. So you're leading it. So these two cardinal signs, you're leading it. And Aquarius season is asking you to, number one, keep going, especially in the more that you're, the more that you begin to, oh wow, truly understand, this is perfect. The more that you truly understand the fact that you're so, what you normally go through, you're how unreal, it's unreal sometimes watching you be you or you being watched in reality or seen rather. Watch sounds a little creepy. Um, but I'm just thinking of horses and wild horses being trying to be tamed um, because you know, at any opportunity, you could just jump that fence. And so basically, that brings me down to this, actually. You have what it takes to jump that fence. If you feel stuck, if you feel trapped, if you feel caged, whatever the word is for you. You've now gone through a process and are going to continue to go through a process that is that you realize that you've been preparing for. You're going to have to jump some hurdles, go through some fire hoops, all of those things. But for you, it's just going to be fun. It's going to be enjoyment. You're going to be like, yeah, like it's a challenge that you're wanting to take. Like you're, it's a challenge that's fun <laughs> as opposed to the hard lessons. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this. Like a Capricorn is also similar and that's like you know your sign comes and their sign comes but you're like let's have fun with this obstacle course let's not just beat it because i know i can beat it but let's have some fun while we're in it and that's what's happening with you because the more that you realize that we realize and that you realize so having the first three cards being a wand a sword and then a pentacle right no cups are really out so the queen of cups tells me that you are very secure in that pro in that part of the process that you know that no matter what emotionally comes to you you can handle it you got this you're ready you've you understand that and now you're getting to create something from what you have gone through and felt it's coming through your brain it's coming up and out of you now so you can see this You, the string of events that happens when you're able to realize that nothing determines your worth. Nothing determines, no one, no external thing can determine that for you. And it's becoming so solid in you now that from the two of wands to the four of wands, it's so funny because one of them's like, very we're very close up to this person who's looking out and seeing the world and you know maybe questioning what they're going to do contemplating their actions contemplating their next steps then we see the four of wands when we're kind of like this external view of like these two people who see who have it all you know and who seem to have it all and so you're it's like you've been contemplating how you want other people to view you and getting really clear on 
you understand that everybody's going to jive with whatever it is with what you're putting out there and how you're going but you do want the people you decide to be around you to support you and cheer you on and clap for you when they see how like when they see what you've created and that going through that process is understanding that it's and it's learning that unshakableness within you when you jump that fence that you are so good with the unknown because again it's like that obstacle course you're ultimately you're going to find a way to have fun with you're going to find a way to enjoy and there could be a Capricorn or an Aries that helps you understand that. Hey, we have the magician at the bottom of the deck. It's you. And then you show up with, I think, as Mercury goes back, goes direct. Ugh, this is what happens sometimes. I can't speak. But it's like all in my head and I'm trying to get it out to you. I know you feel me. So Mercury going direct in just a couple days is the perfect time to begin this. It's also the perfect, you might actually even receive like, oh my God, gotta go. Don't know what it is I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Or I know what I'm doing, but I, and I know it will unfold along the way. And I know that I have great insight and I've learned a lot. And now what I'm creating is something different and I'm ready and I'm able and I feel solid to handle this. So it's like you're jumping your own fence of who you thought you could be. So it could just be just thinking of you as you being the horse in your mind in the, in the fences you've put up for yourself. You're ready to be like, okay, done. I'm ready to be out there in the way that I want to be out there. So it doesn't mean like, your people are going to be necessarily watching you, but it's more of like wherever I go, I know it's this rebirth. It's a part of it. And that success is assured no matter what. So I know it can sound really vague and there's so much more I want to say to you, but I feel like I'll just be repeating myself. So when we look at the cards, usually there's more like clarity and different like a different way to see things. So it's like, I'm sitting with you, like the two of wands right now. And then when we look at the cards, like the four of wands, it's kind of like that. So we're going to do that. And the ace of wands is the most important thing to remember at this time. Okay. Hi, Sag. So <laughs> this is about making that jump. That jump over the fence is a great metaphor. Um, whether it's in your mind or in your physical world or both. Because whatever you're going through or have gone through recently about needing to see who you really are and needing to see the structures you've created and knowing that there's, there's still life beyond that and that you're actually like, I want to go there now. Like, I already know that. I get it. I've been cool with where I've been and now I'm like, okay, I'm ready to really... I'm, I'm, I've been prepared for this. And the big change that's going to happen and that you're creating as you go here, this movement by the end of the month is you taking the two of wands and actually stepping foot and creating the four of wands. You being so prepared emotionally, you might end up breaking up with someone this could be a breakup too this could be a this could be something with either a Capricorn or an Aries and you're just like I want more there's something else I want for myself and maybe they're not coming along because the emperor is about you it's about you taking your life into your hands there's so many single there's one place here of seeing two people right and it's about knowing that you have the emotional capacity or something I like to call the emotional bank to 
create this new structure and keep going and use this movement that you have that you can do so fluidly now. You know, again, this obstacle is going to be fun. It's going to become more fun for you once you get through the initial pain. Because what you're going to create from that is probably beyond what you can even dream up right now or been able to dream up recently. Because this retrograde is really, really deep, but it's also far and wide. There's so much to this, what's happening right now with the placements that by in a couple of days from now, you're going to realize like, oh my God, I've been holding myself back possibly. And it's not like, it's not like you haven't seen this before, but this is just that real realization that Capricorn season set up for you of being like, you can go. No one's stopping you here. It's just whatever you've constructed in your mind. And now that that's free, it's like, you're like, oh shit, there's so much room to go and there's so much mystery to unfold, but you like that. That's a part of your nature. That's a part of how incredible you are and how incredible you can even continue to create things. How, how much you can do. I actually wanted to do this. So I want to show you these cards and I'm not even going to do them perfectly. Fuck it. <laughs> Is to show you that it's about being disciplined about this. The Hierophant, what's so great about Taurus is they can bring their spiritual nature. Their spiritual nature is what their, is their physical nature. So wherever they're at, they're constantly being brought physically to go there. And if you have a Taurus in your life, they might be able to show you. You also might be in the long run with a Taurus. Um, setting up your future with them. This is you, though, coming in contact with that Taurian nature, with that spiritual nature of your, though, how you move in life. Because it is, but, and it can be fun, too. It's like knowing that all of it goes together, and it's like, it's not about being reckless anymore to have fun. It's about being brave, braver than you already are. It's about per whatever you're moving towards authentically, you have to understand that you're also protecting yourself at the same time. So those are going to always move towards wh however you're needing to evolve and how you're going. And by Taurus season, you'll realize uh, there will be a lot more um, physically a lot more around you to show you that, to reflect that nature. And it's just important not to burn out. So it's about you like allowing yourself to realize what you've learned through your heart to now kind of play out what's been, what needs to continue to unfold for you. That jumping that fence is about actually being in this dream, this lucid dream. So jumping the fence is like the lucid dream. They go in tandem. I watched Inception recently, and I think that whoever is listening to this and that really feels that, that might be something you might want to watch too. It could be really impactful for you or show you something in this time. Because the you're free from the cycles and the layers right now. And if you're not one of those people and that you feel still chained up with the, with the devil card here, it's you that needs to set yourself free. No one else can do it. You just have to accept what's going to be, what you're going to leave behind as you go. And it's just, it's so fuego. It's so inspiring. And you're going to continue to inspire yourself along the way. It, it, I know that's kind of far out, but for now it's like getting your mind there so that you can get your, so that your body can move in with it. So that you're not always, you're not moving against yourself. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I love you so much. So, so much. Um, info to work with me one-on-one -on -one below. Website is coming soon. So excited about that. And yeah, looking forward to this. I love you, Sag, and have a great rest of your month. Whoop, whoop.